There is a letter published from 40 lawyers in one British newspaper. One of them joins me now from the United Nations studio in New York. He's Professor Richard Folk, who is the Emeritus Professor of International Law at Princeton University and the UN Rapporteur on the Palestinian Territories. Professor, thanks for joining us. What is your accusation you against having... Israel because of its military action? Uh, I believe the uh, facts now are so compelling that Israel has severely violated uh, fundamental norms of international humanitarian law and international criminal law, and that if these norms are to be taken seriously, it's time for political action to begin to implement them. Let me be clear, you're taking only a legal view here. Well, I'm suggesting that the facts are such that a legal process seems overdue and highly appropriate. What do you believe can be proven then? What is the evidence that you believe is sufficient for you to make this very grave accusation? Well, underlying the recent uh, attacks which began on December 27th was a blockade that restricted the entry of food, fuel, and medicine, which constituted collective punishment prohibited by Article 33 of the Fourth G Geneva Convention, as well as Article 55 that specifically obligates an occupying power to provide food and health care for the civilian population. Added to that, are these military attacks on an essentially defenseless civilian society already on the verge of collapse as a result of the blockade, which seem to at least create a basis for alleging crimes against humanity. And then there are the various allegations associated with specific incidents where civilians have been directly targeted, medical assistance has been obstructed, and dubious, legally dubious weapons have been relied upon. Professor, finally, can I ask you, do you believe that you could gather the evidence, make a case, and bring Israel to one of these international courts? I believe that the evidence exists. I'm not sure that the political will necessary to implement these legal norms presently exists, though there is a growing public demand that's, that some sort of action should be taken. The real obstacle is at the intergovernmental level, and it reflects the degree to which the whole of international law is to some extent subject to the realities of geopolitics. And one of the realities here is the capacity of the United States to obstruct any kind of justice being done on behalf of the Palestinians. Professor Richard Fogg, Professor Emeritus of International Law at Princeton University.